When Laquan McDonald was shot 16 times by Chicago police, they didn't just murder him. They tried to erase his life and his death. Witnesses were intimidated. Evidence was destroyed. Statements were falsified. Officers lied. And prosecutors, City Hall, and the media went along with the story. There's a machinery in Chicago that erases these cases. In the force's 180-year history, no officer had ever been charged with murdering a black citizen. But this time, the city refused to allow Laquan to disappear. Whistleblowers, witnesses, organizers, journalists, the movement in the streets and the citizens of the city kept the story alive for years, even though justice seemed impossible. It has been a privilege to accompany the city on this journey, and I will never forget the moment in front of City Hall when we all strained to hear the verdict through our cell phones, braced for the inevitable acquittal. As the 16 guilty counts were read, the crowd broke down into tears, disbelief. It was like a tear had opened in the fabric of political reality, and we were stepping into a new, impossible future. Our moment of national reckoning around race and justice is full of political dangers, but also of possibilities I never thought I'd see in my lifetime. Thank you to the Television Academy for lifting up stories like this. It is an honor to be counted alongside so many great projects this year. Thank you, Showtime, for giving this film life. Vinny, we're all proud to be a part of what you're building there. Thank you to Topic and Impact Partners and the Chicago Media Project, to the IDA and Bertha for making this happen, the great Jamie Calvin, the great Jacqueline Suen and Kareem Hodge, Brian and Francisco, and the amazing team that persevered over three years of production. And most of all, thank you to the movements and the people of Chicago. You've taught us all a lesson in perseverance and grit and hope to see us through these dark times.